Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is the Sonia wrap and yes I'm I'm actually naming this wrap after one of my followers or subscribers or however you want to call it. Actually I should call it just a friend because she's a good friend of mine and I thank her so much for alerting me to this wrap because it's just it's gorgeous it's easy it's you just need two scarves you can also do it with one scarf and it's elegant but if you wrap it differently you can have it super super playful it's super versatile and I'm just so glad that like I didn't come up with this but like I said Sonia has been doing this wrap and she has alerted me to this and I'm just so thrilled that she did so thank you so much sweet Sonia and of course besides that this video is in collaboration with Rapunzel Rapunzel has supplied the scarves and the shaper that you're seeing here and um, I'm just, <laughs> I just can't wait to show you how to do this because yes it maybe it looks a little bit difficult what's happening up here but it is super super easy and you will not believe it so anyway without further ado let's go right into the video welcome to the tutorial part and for that i'm wearing the wendy shaper you can use of course of course smaller shapers and honestly you might even have a bit of an easier time if you're wearing a smaller shaper because then you just have more material left over to tuck away which i'm going to show you in a second so i am going to start with the stellar scarf in red which looks like this just going to hold it into the camera it's a red scarf not 100 percent opaque it's a little bit sheer maybe you can see me a little bit through the fabric and then it has golden sparkly dots on it which is super super nice it does not have fringes and it's a beautiful scarf it wraps amazingly beautiful <laughs> anyway so I'm going to put that down from the top down and as always I'm just going to like pull it up a little bit towards the front and clean it up on in the front instead of in the back and then I'm just measuring that I have about halfway here that I'm uh, wrapping it evenly and now I'm just going to bring it to the back and cross it over. I'm not tying a knot. <laughs> yeah, I know it's very unusual for me, but it's not really necessary for this wrap. So for everybody who cannot tolerate knots behind your head, that that is your wrap. Absolutely. Okay. So you can also do this wrap just using one scarf, by the way. Like if you were to use just one pashmina or one scarf, you can do it too. If you ask me, it just it's a little bit more special if you use two because of course you can use different color schemes to play with which makes it more interesting or also use a um, very patterned scarf and then a very like plain scarf uh, that also makes it more interesting I for myself today I'm of course doing a monochromatic wrap which can also be super super nice but besides all of that you can do the same thing just using one scarf okay all right for the next thing I'm going to use the red shimmery and this is how it looks it does have fringes for everybody who doesn't know this scarf it looks like this close up it is also a little bit sheer and it is a little bit like I remember when I got this the first time and I described it as chain mail it's a little bit like um, like that I don't know I'm going to just put my skin under this maybe you can see what I mean I don't know if one can see what I mean but anyway that is always how I feel about this scarf it's super super shimmery and sparkly and I really really like it it's not super wide so that helps really because uh, we don't need a very wide scarf for the second for the second one all right I'm going to fold this now twice and it really depends on what kind of shaper you're using, on how much space you have here, how much, uh, how many times you're folding it. It doesn't really matter that much, honestly. Just so you're placing something right here and it should hang down also equally on both sides. And as well as uh, the first one, I'm crossing this over too. And I'm just grabbing both of those sides and giving them a good tug so it is nice and tight. Okay, so now I'm going to bring both of those sides up to the middle and I'm going to tie a knot right here. Like this. So we see here the uh, stellar scarf, we see here the shimmery still, and there we have the, the knot. Okay, so now 
I'm of course you can now uh, clean up here if there is anything you want to change or move around I think I'm pretty pretty happy with what I have here so now I'm going to just tie another knot knot right on top of the first one and now here you see that if you have a smaller shaper you will have more excess material to work with so for me it's starting to get really really tight and I'm just going to duck down so you can see what I'm doing uh, for me the scarves are basically <laughs> this is their end if you have a smaller shaper you will have a little bit more material left over to tuck away but you know that the Wendy shaper is just my comfort zone so that's what I'm doing so now I'm just sort of leaning this double knot a little bit to the back and I'm just going to tuck away whatever is left so now you know that I don't care if there are fringes hanging out I personally think that that is super lovely and can add a lot to the look but you can do whatever you want you can like if you want a more cleaned up look then you can of course from the get-go use a scarf that doesn't have fringes or you use a smaller shaper or you know whatever you want so now you can totally play with this in case in this case like me who has now a bit of a problem because the scarves don't tuck away nicely because the shaper is too big <laughs> or the scarves are too small but I don't think that that's the issue you can then just you know be a little bit more creative and just tuck away everything the way you want it and just play with this you know I mean even this can be like your source of creativity so anyway I'm just going to tuck the the fringes a tiny little bit away and that is it and I think that is a super cool and very, very easy wrap. And I'm so, so glad that um, Sonia alerted me to this wrap because I <laughs> sometimes the most obvious things in front of you, you don't see them because, you know, you're not thinking that way. So I think this is a super cool wrap. And if you do it again with like different colors or different textures or whatever, I think this can be super playful. And if you wrap it like this, it can be super elegant. And I really like this because it's super, super versatile. So anyway, I hope you did enjoy this. Please leave me your comments, of course, in the comment section down below. Besides that, if you want to place an order with Rapunzel, then you, you can of course use my affiliate code, which is Queenly Aura in all caps and one word. It will give you 5% of your order. Besides that, I would love it if you were to subscribe to my channel and I want to invite you to come back for my next video, which is on my channel super soon, probably tomorrow. But if you're watching this on the Rapunzel channel, then it's probably going to be in a week or something like that. So anyway, I am so happy to see you here again and I hope this wrap works for you. I hope you'll enjoy. I love you so much and go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.